Hi, Lexi Daly here with this week's episode of Make It Monday. Today is all about pattern paper and die cuts. So I thought it would be fun to play with pattern paper and die cuts to create sort of a pattern silhouette artwork, if you will. It's inspired by room art that I've seen in maybe Pottery Barn or other similar catalogs and online using either fabric or pattern papers with an image in one or two patterns on top of a background image in another pattern. There are several variations on this kind of decorating trend that has come and gone throughout the years and continues to go as different patterns are created for both fabric and paper. So with all of the um, papers that we have and um, the big sale that has been going on, I thought it would be fun to kind of play with those. And very minimal stamping. Really the only stamping I've done is for my sentiments. So this is the card we're going to make and then I'll show you a few others that I've created on the side. I started off using comic strip paper for this one. Um, in a lot of the paper train papers you have several different coordinating um, patterns and colors. So that makes your selection process pretty easy. Um, I wanted a bun bundle of balloons here so I did one pattern in each of the different um, primary colors and I set them off on a background of the black and white dots. This is a great way to use up your scraps. You know these were little pieces that I had left over because I love this paper pad so much, um, I do tend to keep smaller scraps than I might of other papers. So let me cut out the balloons and I'll be right back. So here I have my basic parts, a standard card front, a piece of the black and white dot paper in four by a little bit less than four so that I had a, a decent, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch margin over here. And um, I just played with the layout as I was deciding. I decided not to go put them fully into the square because I wanted to kind of play on the white edges as well for the layout of this one. And I also wanted a little more string to be able to show. So that's kind of how I came up with the little off the edge design, um, which left room for my sentiment here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type, uh, stamp the sentiment and then move the card out of the way and assemble the balloons. I have my sentiment all lined up from before so I can just do it again. Okay, and now the stamping's done. We can just play with getting the balloons in place and put together. I happen to have this. I'm not sure where I got it. I've had it for a long time and I, I've used a lot of it. It just doesn't seem to end or it lasts a long time, but it's a waxy thread. Um, and the great thing about this thread for balloons is that I can kind of mold it into shape and sort of stick it down into onto the paper. Um, and it will hold that. So I'm just going to cut three lengths of this for each of, one for each of my balloons and then another smaller length to tie them with a bow. If you don't have that, I think twine is a good idea. I really wanted something a little more neutral since I had so much color going on. Um, and then I just simply tied each of these around one, each of the balloons. Sometimes when I do balloons, I'll also tie a bow, depends on what I'm using. I'll tie a bow around it and just tape the the other part from the back of the balloon. But for this one, I kind of like this tying on look. All right, now I'm gonna snip off the ends just a little bit. You might have noticed that it was a lot easier to start the loop before I put it on the balloons. Um, I mean, I'm not handling the balloons as much and wrinkling them. So next, 
I want to place my panel onto the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Leaving about the same margin at the top, or slightly more margin at the top actually than on the side. Close to the same. I like that kind of unevenness of this and kind of having it to the border here and then having my balloons come off to the border here and here kind of plays off of each other. So I know that the blue and the yellow I want flat against the paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my adhesive on and I will lightly put them in place but not press them down all the way yet so that I kind of make sure that my bundle of balloons is kind of facing how I want it to. And I'll get this one ready with a little foam tape. It needs a little foam tape because it um, rests on top of the little ties. And before I take the backing off, I want to make sure that I have them all in a good little bundle position. There we go. And I'll go ahead and tie them at this point. The waxy thread also helps it stay into place as I'm putting them together. So once again, let me get these where I think they should go. And I'll go ahead and get this one ready to press down. Make sure I have room in there, okay. I'm gonna press that one into place too. And then let's kind of play with the strings a little bit. And then stick that into place. The wax usually holds it. Um, sometimes I put a glue dot behind there too, just to make sure. And I'm gonna cut these off. I'm going to position those how I want them. This stuff really does hold its shape pretty well. Move that a little bit more up. And there we go. Three balloons on the comic strip background. And a nice little pattern play with um, some coordinating pattern papers. And here are a few others to show you. This one is a true silhouette, the silhouette of a superhero on the Starburst background, again from the same pad of papers. Just another take on um, clean and simple without using stamps. And as I know, I've said many times, that's my go-to, clean and simple. Lots of white space, and in this case, my white space happens to be pattern paper in some of the samples. But just because it's not white doesn't mean it's you know, busy. I've kept it simple by the, in the patterns that I chose. For example, this one, going back to the balloon, I wanted a simple single balloon. I chose a floral paper. It was just floral on the corner and I thought it would be fun to have a patterned um, balloon. And so I picked a paper that was pretty simple behind it. I found this one in my stash, not sure. It's not paper trank. I'm not sure where it came from. This one um, came from beautiful brush strokes um, and this one I just happened to find had a lot of these colors in the little dots in the background and it was the perfect kind of white space behind the patterned balloon and just with a little extra white space over here to hold the sentiment this one was pattern paper from a stamp affair back in time uh, time travel and um, I used one of the patterns for my background and I went with a white silhouette and a, another pattern paper for the coffee cozy. Another super simple quick card to make when you're on the run or if clean and simple is your thing. Uh, and then finally a wedding card. I used another you know, true silhouette in that it's people, um, the, the bride and groom. I used, this, this is also paper I believe from Stamp Affair. Um, 
and I used three coordinating papers to go together, but I really wanted the bride and groom to stand out, so I left them on the white, and I just used the other pattern as a as an accent piece. Um, but they all relate to each other, and it kind of goes to the rule of threes, three patterns from the um, for, that went together. So those are some ideas that you can use, um, and I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. Here's back to the superhero ones, since they're my favorites. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you have added new papers to your stash with the um, big pre-anniversary sale, and um, I can't wait to see what you come up with using your dies and your pattern paper. Um, oh, one more thing I wanted to tell you. Um, if you if you have an image you really want to use but you don't have the die, all you have to do is stamp it on the back of your paper and then cut out the image and then you'll have the silhouette of it on the other side. So just another little tip in case you have an image you really want to use but you don't have the die to go with it. Um, so I guess that's it. Now it's your turn. Head over to Nicole's blog for all of the details on how to play along and Dig into your pattern papers and have fun. Thanks for watching. This has been Lexi Daly for Paper Tray Inc. Bye.